Hi everyone, welcome to Bay Sunny. I'm your host, Frank Malico. Good to have you on board. And it's time to get your dance on here out of the gate. The 10th Annual Flamenco Festival is about to touch down. March the 22nd through the 29th, some of the world's best dancers, singers, and musicians entertaining the Bay Area. Live performances, lectures, film screenings, workshops, and oh yeah, a ton of fun. Pleased to have the founder and the artistic director of Bay Area Flamenco, Nina Menendez with us this morning. How are you? I'm really happy to be here. Bienvenido. Yes, muchas gracias. Estamos aquí. Muy feliz de estar aquí. Welcome. Sunday. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, tell us, I mean, you go way back when it comes to flamenco. Give Absolutely. us a little bit about your history and, and your love for it. Oh, well, this is something I became involved in as a teenager and had the great privilege of um, meeting artists that had come to live in the Bay Area from Spain, some of the great gypsy artists such as Rosa Montoya and Agustin Rios and later, later Ansonini del Puerto. And they were a huge influence on me as, long, as well as some of the Americans that had been studying flamenco guitar with Spanish gypsies in the small villages in Andalusia where people like Diego del Gastor and Moron de la Frontera and so forth brought back wonderful field recordings that they shared with me and um, other of uh, my peers. And I just fell in love with it as a teen and became more and more involved and got to go to Spain and get to know the families and really delve into the culture and, and, and get to know uh, a lot about the roots of flamenco in the gypsy communities of Spain. And your grandparents on your father's side that's right. are from that's right. Spain, right? Absolutely. So you yes. had that instant connection there. Yes, that's right. And a singing family? You're a yes, singer? Yes, my mother's a well-known jazz singer, Barbara Dane, um, who's uh, traveled the world and um, sung in many circumstances, especially for social justice. and. Um, and she had a big influence, of course, on all of us growing up. Uh, my dad had been a folk, uh, folk dancer, and um, as well as having the, the Spanish culture from his father. But he was exposed to a lot of different uh, musics growing up in the Bronx in New York. And um, around the breakfast table, we'd always be listening to uh, music from all over the world. Sure. And then when I was had the luck of meeting some of the people that I mentioned earlier, um, I got the flamenco bug and. Uh, well, it's been many years now. And it's been with you forever now, right? That's right, that's right. Well, let's talk about the show coming up. Uh, it's, uh, I guess the theme is generations, and we're not going to say ages, but uh, the young, the not so young, and a little bit older. Yes, we'll go they, that route. Yes, they represent three generations, and this is all going to be happening uh, next Sunday at the Palace of Fine Arts, and we're really excited. It's a week from today. Um, the, the show is called Generations of Gypsy Flamenco, and mm -hmm. it really illustrates how these traditions are passed down through the generations um, and through the family lines. Um, and these, so we have the youngest dancer who's in her early 20s and the oldest who's, um, you know, in her 60s. And they represent various generations um, and how this is really an expression of the cultural identity of the gypsy people. It's not so much a, a performing art, uh, academic, classic style. It's more. Expression? A, sponta a spontaneous expression of yeah, that. Yeah, and I know we've got some uh, some video. Take us through it, and these are some of the artists. Vargas, Torres, oh, and Moneo. Uh, if we can roll some of that tape and uh, talk us through some of wonderful. the artists that we're yes, going to be able to watch it. We're going to be able to see. Hema Moneo. Yes, that's Hema. Uh, she's uh, from the Moneo clan of gypsy singers and guitarists in Jerez de la Frontera. And she's amazing. She's really emerging as one of the finest dancers of her generation getting a lot of recognition throughout Spain, and it's particularly exciting that she represents this uh, legendary family, and because they're singers, she's able to dance right to the singing. And on the uh, other end, Pepe Torres. Pepe Torres, here. yes. Um, he comes from the town of Moron de la Frontera, so important in the history of flamenco. His family are guitarists and singers as well, and that has a lot to do with why these are such fine dancers, because they really are in tune with the, the whole culture of flamenco. And, it, it, you know, it's fun. People yes. are going to go there, be entertained. It's a great absolutely, family venue. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. And, you know, it's wonderful. People can bring their kids and come early because doors open at 6 o'clock. The show starts at 7. Mm -hmm. But between 6 and 7, we'll be having informal flamenco festivities in the lobby. Mm -hmm. And it's very participatory. They'll be dancing. And there'll be, of course, beverages and food available as well. And um, then the show starts at 7, and uh, we'll have an extraordinary opportunity to witness some flamenco that you might not even get to see if you go to Spain, because this isn't the flamenco that you would find in the tourist venues. Or, right. You know, you really have to know the families and, and go into the communities deeply to be able to see 
So it's really an, a privilege and uh, to, for us to be able to present such artists and create these cultural exchange opportunities. And that whole week, San Francisco, East Bay, and Santa Cruz, you can also learn. You're going to have a number of workshops where uh, you can go in and listen to guitar, learn the guitar, learn to sing. Absolutely. Also, uh, learn the to dance. dance classes, yeah. yeah. I bet they're huge. That's right. Concha Vargas, is, she's the elder of the group. She's an amazing teacher, especially for people who are just beginning flamenco or who are in, at the intermediate level. She's wonderful to really uh, ha allow that rhythm to sink in. She knows how to transmit that and make it really, really fun for folks. She's great with children. So the workshops are a wonderful opportunity. We have all the information about those on our website, bayareaflamencofestival.org. Mm -hmm. Which I'm going to get to right now. Okay, okay well, yeah, neat. so nice to meet you. All the best. Same Buenas here, have, a, <laughs> have a great festival. For more information about the festival, log on to bayareaflamenco.org. That's bayareaflamenco.org. Back with more Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay there, folks.